<laughs> Testing. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? Welcome to Northern Illinois University's Fall Commencement Ceremonies. At this time, I would like to introduce the president of NIU and his colleagues who will be joining him as members of today's platform party. Please hold your applause until all members are present and are presented. Northern Illinois University President Douglas Baker, Dean of the Graduate School Bradley Bond, Member of the Board of Trustees John Butler, Interim Vice President for Research and Innovation Partnerships, Gerald Blasey. Honorary Degree Recipi Recipient, James Fruchterman. Professor of Geography, Walker Ashley. Professor of Geology and Environmental Geosciences, Mark Frank. Dean of the College of Education, Lori Ellish Piper. Associate Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Brian Sandberg. Associate Dean of the College of Health and Human Sciences, Beverly Henry. Acting Dean of the College of Engineering and Engineering Technology, Omar Grayab. Dean of the College of Visual and Performing Arts, Paul Castle. Dean of the College of Business, Balaji Rajagupalan, our readers are Stephen Tonks from the College of Education, Matthew Swan from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Our vocalist is Deanna Francis. The student marshals are Adam Lichtenauer and Rajaswari Gundu. And joining the members of the platform party are various members of NIU's esteemed faculty. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present the Northern Illinois University Class of 2016.
Will the audience please rise as you are able? Colors will be presented by the Northern Illinois University United States Army ROTC Color Guard with vocalist Deanna Francis. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fall Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the fall 2016 commencement ceremony for recipients of graduate degrees. My name is Brad Bond and I have the privilege of serving Northern Illinois University as Dean of the Graduate School. This is a day of great significance for our graduates, their families and friends. We're happy that you've chosen to help us recognize the accomplishments of our graduates. I'm pleased to invite to the podium John Butler, member, Board of Trustees.
Thank you. And good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Northern Illinois University, it is my pleasure to welcome each of you to these commencement ceremonies. Graduates, over two decades ago, I received a graduate degree from Northern Illinois University in a ceremony much like this one. That was an exciting time for me, and I'm sure this is an exciting time for you. Because of my experience as a student and as a member of the board that governs NIU, I know that the pathway to the achievements we celebrate today have been long and marked by many obstacles. A graduate degree is at once a substantial financial investment, a profound test of your strength and confirmation of your capacity to do something specific very well. For the NIU family, of which you are a part, the achievements we celebrate today are also proof that despite many challenges, we can realize our ambitions for student achievement, engaged learning, and world-class scholarly research and artistry. And graduates, you now also assume an important role as advocates for the value proposition of higher education the immense return on investment that state universities realize, particularly for the people of the state of Illinois. I ask you to help us make that case with your good work and thoughtful speech so that others may one day also experience a future as bright as yours. Audience members, join me in recognizing the accomplishments of these outstanding graduates. Thank you, Trustee Butler. It's now my distinct pleasure to invite to the podium President of Northern Illinois University, Dr. Douglas D. Baker. Thank you, Brad. Good afternoon, Huskies. Good afternoon, Huskies. All right. Hey, can we thank the steel band, the best steel band in the country right there? Aren't they a gas? I'm so proud of them. Well, good afternoon, and actually it's a great afternoon. It's great for the parents and relatives of our graduates who've dreamed of this day for so long, for our graduates who've worked so hard to get here, and for me, because of one of, the, one of the great privileges of being a university president is having the opportunity to address a group like this, one assembled here today, people on the cusp of doing great things, people who will become the leaders of tomorrow, People will help their families, communities, and organizations thrive as they work to make the world a better place. That's a tall order, but this group is up to it. I find myself continually in awe of our students. They're smart, hardworking, and talented. They're committed to service, to academic success, to communities, and to each other. Working under the tutelage of our talented and dedicated faculty, these students have transformed themselves. We don't have time to share each of their stories, but I'd like to highlight a few examples. So, I'd like these students to please stand when I announce their names. First, Adam Lichtentower. Adam? Let me tell you about Adam. Adam Lichtentower makes no secret about it. Once he sets his mind to do something, he goes at it pretty hard. A perfect example would be when he jumped into action this year after realizing that taking a couple of summer classes meant he could complete his MBA and law degrees early and simultaneously. With graduation finally here, Adam admits he's looking forward to a little time to breathe after not only a busy 2016, but a goal-driven NIU career. Since arriving at NIU in January of 2008, Adam has artfully balanced his education and service to country. While an undergraduate, on his way to earning a marketing degree in 2014, he twice stepped away from school to serve one-year deployments in Afghanistan as a member of the National Guard. Adam credits his military experience for an improved focus on his studies each time he returned to campus. His grades rose as well, to the point where he received magna cum laude honors as an undergraduate, and again in law school, where he ranks in the top 10% of his class. 
A three point grade point, three point five grade point average in both the MBA and law programs is quite an accomplishment on its own. And that's before you consider Adam also worked 20 hours a week at his part-time job. In May, Adam joined the DeKalb County Court Appointed Special Advocates as a law clerk for the organization, which assists in juvenile abuse and neglect cases. With such a unique journey, Adam says it's difficult to pick out individual memories or highlights from his NIU years. What comes to mind for Adam after a thoughtful moment in the family atmosphere created by students and faculty in the marketing and sales department? He recalls the phenomenal work of professors Robert Peterson, Charles Howlett, and Mark Groza. He says they went beyond teaching to shape the outlook of students and help them become better business professionals. Adam finds his marketing education to be a perfect complement to the law, which is his passion. He's already applying to become a military attorney, known as a Judge Advocate General, as the entry point to his legal career. For now, though, Adam's preparing for the bar exam and the start of his next chapter. He does so with fond memories of an NIU experience he loved and will miss. Let's congratulate him. Next, I'd like to have two students stand, Kaniz Fatima and Sandhya Kumar. Will you both stand? Thank you. For Kaniz Fatima, Kaniz Fatima and Sandhya Kumar, the walk across this stage today is, path, uh, is paved with self-awareness, passion, commitment, and courage. As trainers of teachers in their native Pakistan, and as talented and devoted teachers themselves, Kaniz and Sadida realized that to make a greater impact on elementary education in their homeland, they needed to enhance their knowledge. They dedicated themselves to securing that opportunity and beat out thousands of applicants to secure two of only 27 scholarships by, offered by the United States Eng Agency for International Development. They applied themselves relentlessly they completed six months of English training in half that time. They attended every day of their College of Education classes. They not only joined student organizations, they became leaders. And they bravely rose above some cultural expectations to make independent decisions, decisions to not only travel, but live abroad, by themselves for the purpose of advancing their own higher education. Such choices are not made lightly. Now, as they enter master's degrees in early childhood education, they soon will return to Pakistan to reunite with loved ones and to resume their work. Beyond the lessons they impact, uh, beyond the lessons they impart about American ways of learning, of teachers who empower students to facilitate their own discovery, who function as partners in that journey, they'll quietly demonstrate the magnitude what, of what they have undertaken. Kaniz knows from these encounters with teachers in Pakistan that they want to deliver innovative and impactful instruction, but that they need professional support to do so. She'll provide that, taking home with her influence and ideas, not only from classmates in the United States, but from many other countries, including China and Nigeria. Sadiu found herself within found within herself a confidence is eager to evangelize for the profound value of early childhood education, of the foundation it sets for the future academic achievement. It's not generally acknowledged in Pakistan, but she, it will be after she gets back. Both women want to be teachers to know, want teachers to know that a lack of resources cannot overpower passion for the job and solid educational strategies, that students with special needs are capable and deserving that parents should encourage and accompany their children in learning, literally going hand in hand on an educational adventure in and out of the classroom. Their messages to teachers back home and to the children they teach is forceful. Believe you can do something. And in their lives, they've already have, not only for themselves, but for the generations to come. Congratulations, we're very proud of you. As you can see from these stories I've just shared, we have amazing students at NIU. Students who've taken remarkable, life-altering journeys during their time at NIU. 
Clearly, they didn't walk alone down their chosen paths. They had encouragement, help, and guidance from a constellation of people, many of whom are with us today. And we'd be remiss if we didn't give our graduates an opportunity to show their gratitude. So let's start with the family. Graduates, although you studied hard and completed your assignments, your family did some of the heavy lifting too. From your first day of school until today, they've been by your side, encouraging you and supporting you in ways you probably can't even imagine. Would all the mothers and fathers of our graduates please stand and let us recognize you? Moms and dads? And because we know it often takes a village to raise a graduate, let's have all the grandparents, spouses, sons, daughters, and loved ones, the rest of you stand up too. And while we're thanking people who've helped you along the way, I'd also like to recognize the faculty and staff president. These talented teachers and extraordinary researchers have helped you shape your future. Will the faculty and staff please rise and allow us to thank you as well. <laughs> Clearly, graduates, you enjoy an extraordinary support system. And I want you to remember them not just after today's ceremony when you give your loved one big hug, but also as you move forward in life. Remember them when others reach out to you for help and that you'll extend the same support to those who need a hand. As Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. So I urge you to give generously of the gifts that you have. My congratulations to all of you and best wishes for a prosperous and fulfilling future. Go Huskies. Thank you, Dr. Baker. Thank you, Dr. Baker. This afternoon, we recognize two distinguished graduate faculty award recipients. It's important that we do so. In graduate education, the relationship between faculty and student is a special one. Faculty serve not only as teachers, but as master to apprentice, as co-conspirator in the research enterprise, as mentor to mentee. It's a relationship that lasts a lifetime. This afternoon, we celebrate two exemplary re uh, representatives of the faculty who have taught and mentored you. You'll find more complete biography of our award recipients in your program. Dr. Walker Ashley is a member of the faculty in the Department of Geography. At the simplest level, Dr. Ashley is a storm chaser, not one committed to daring do, but to science. His research, particularly the research that he conducts with students, is impressive, but he's also a human being. As one of his student nominators for this award remarked, I'm very optimistic about my future because of the standards Dr. Ashley demands. He's been an excellent mentor, He's helped me become a competitive researcher. Despite his lofty expectations, his manner is also very approachable and personal, and I consider him a friend. To a mentor and teacher, those are especially welcome words. Dr. Ashley, congratulations. Dr. Mark Frank is a member of the faculty and the director of graduate studies in the Department of Geology and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Frank is considered to be one of the department's most challenging teachers and also one of its most popular among students. That seeming conundrum owes to the fact that his students recognize that he challenges them and expects them to achieve new heights, all the while coaxing and helping them along. His effective efforts to help graduate students find external funding to support their research have been particularly successful. At the same time, his student nominators, both those who study under other faculty and those who study directly under him, sing his praises for his human approach to assisting them. Dr. Frank, congratulations.
At this time, I invite to the podium Dr. Uh, Laurie Ellish Piper, Dean, College of Education. Thank you. The Board of Trustees of Northern Illinois University awards honorary doctoral degrees upon the nomination of the faculty and the recommendation of the president of the university. Honorary degrees are awarded to individuals who have distinguished themselves as leaders and innovators in their fields of endeavor. Today we award Mr. James Fruchterman the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. In doing so, we recognize Mr. Fruchterman's long-standing leadership in turning cutting-edge technologies into affordable devices for individuals who are traditionally underserved in commercial markets. I encourage you to read the biographical sketch of Mr. Fruchterman, which is available in the commencement program. Mr. Fruchterman grew up in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and graduated from St. Viator. He earned a baccalaureate degree in electrical engineering and a master's degree in applied physics from the California Institute of Technology. While still a student in the early 1980s, he utilized pattern recognition technology designed for military purposes to create a reading machine for individuals who are blind. To keep the cost of his reading machine low in order to positively impact the lives of as many people as possible, Mr. Fruchterman founded a nonprofit company to develop and manufacture the system. That reading tool has been fine-tuned to work in dozens of languages and is used in more than 60 countries worldwide. Other tools to aid the blind have followed, including OpenBook, a software program that reads pages, Atlas Speaks, a map software, and Strider, a talking GPS locator. In 2000, Mr. Fruchterman founded Benetech, a nonprofit incubator for socially oriented technology applications. While Benetech has continued to produce technologies that serve the blind, the company also develops tools designed to provide solutions to other underserved populations. For example, Mardis is a Benetech-developed computer-based reporting system that allows human rights workers to collect, protect, and disseminate information about human rights violations. Maradi is an open source desktop application used by ecologists and conservationists worldwide to plan and manage their efforts to protect natural resources. Mr. Fruchterman is widely recognized for his genius and his commitment to serving humanity through the creative use of technology. Among his many honors, Mr. Fruchterman was named a MacArthur Fellow by the MacArthur Foundation in 2006. Today, NIU is honored to recognize Mr. Fruchterman's socially conscious entrepreneurship. I invite President Baker to bestow the degree. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Northern Illinois University, I hereby formally confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Congratulations. I want to thank the President and Trustees of Northern Illinois University, Dean Bond, the other deans, and my long-term partners in NIU's Department of Special Education for this great honor today. As someone who grew up only an hour away from here, I want to share a bit of my journey along with an observation about failure. Six months after leaving grad school, I found myself at a rocket launch pad for one of the very first private enterprise rocket companies. The countdown went Five, four, three, two, one, oh, bleep, the rocket blew up in the launch pad. <laughs> you know, that explosion, that failure, launched my career in a completely different direction, the direction of being an entrepreneur. By being part of an incredibly bold venture, well, a failure, 
I was open to becoming an entrepreneur myself. I tried starting my own rocket company. It didn't get off the ground. I helped start seven high-tech companies in Silicon Valley. Only five failed. <laughs> the first company that actually succeeded invented a technology that allowed machines to read just about any kind of document, turning a scanned picture of a page of text into a word processor document like someone had typed it in. This had solid commercial potential. As a matter of fact, the product we helped invent is still being sold today commercially for scanning information to computers. But the technology also had a socially beneficial application. Not only could it just help businesses and governments input forms into computers, but it could also help blind people scan and read books. However, our venture capital investors vetoed the product for the blind for excellent business reasons. The market for reading machines was probably less than a million dollars a year. That bothered me. You see, I went to grad school because I wanted to acquire skills that would help solve important problems and to help people. I bet you feel the same way. In Silicon Valley, we're trained to drop things that don't make a lot of money, don't make boatloads of money, like it's a red hot potato. But I wanted to help the blind, even though it wasn't the most lucrative option. So we created nonprofit tech companies formed as a charity where our, our goal could be to do good rather than to make money. And I told my wife I would do this for a year and then go back to rather regular profit-making high tech. And that was over 25 years ago. So it was at Benetech that I found out that this was really what I was meant to do. As a nerd, as a geek from birth, I had found a place to use my technical and professional skills to do good for the world. Ever since those days 25 years ago, when we started making reading machines for the blind, we've been looking for new ways to help technology to meet important social needs. For example, our latest project to help people with disabilities is an online library of accessible books, which has helped over 400,000 students with disabilities get the books that they need as dyslexic or blind students to succeed in school. And we've delivered more than 10 million accessible books to these students. We've also provided software to help human rights groups document human rights violations, and we're working on technology to help poor women in Latin America chart their own path out of poverty. On my path from being a rocket engineer to a high-tech entrepreneur to being very successfully not making money with a nonprofit tech company, I've learned some important lessons from my failures. Fail early, fail fast, fail often. I know in grad school you were taught not to fail, and by definition, the fact you're here today means that you were successful. Congratulations. But be open and to, to new and risky things. You know, often you learn far more from a failure than you do from a success because you don't know if you are lucky or smart or just hardworking. So many people never try. And in Silicon Valley, having a bold but smart and honest failure actually makes you more investable than someone who's never tried anything before. I'm not saying that you should go out and do foolish things for the sake of failing, but be open to the lessons of failure, learning what didn't work so well, to become better at your job, your profession, or simply a better person. And here's what I have to say to you at this celebration of your accomplishments. Be proud of your failures and take the lessons from them as a treasure. As a person who's learned far more from my failures than success, the world needs your learning, your talents, your drive to solve problems. Your opportunity is to build social good into everything you do. Don't wait until you've made some money and then get around to social good. As professionals, society and our families have invested a great deal in us, and they have high expectations and even higher needs for us to give back through our service, skills, and expertise. I am proud to be receiving this honorary degree alongside you today and look fair forward to carrying out the important work of making the world a better place alongside you all. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Fruchterman. As we prepare to rec recognize the accomplishments of our graduates, I request that members of the audience remain in their seats until the end of the ceremony so that we might honor each of our graduates. Thank you for your consideration. Will the candidates for doctoral degrees please rise? President Baker, 
Upon the nomination of the graduate faculty, I recommend that you confer the Doctor of Philosophy and the Doctor of Education upon the students who have met the requirements to receive those degrees. By the authority granted to me by the Board of Trustees of Northern Illinois University, I formally confer upon each of you, together with your fellows in absentia, the doctoral degree for which you have been recommended. Accordingly, you are vested with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining to that degree. Congratulations. The following students will receive the Doctor of Philosophy. Scott Abel, hooded by Dr. Eric Jones. Sumana Abarante, hooded by Dr. Lawrence Lurio. Manal Alcaranzan, hooded by Haley Mayall. Matthew Billings, hooded by Dr. Sean Farrell. Hanadi Bokhari, hooded by Dr. Haley Mayall. Edwin Burgess IV, hooded by Dr. Bethia King. Mainul Chowdhury, hooded by Dr. Virginia Wilcox Cock. Caitlin Davenport, hooded by Dr. Oliver Hofstetter. Aaron Deliberto hooded by Dr. Christine Malecki. Christopher Greer, hooded by Dr. Colin Booth. Christopher Grodowski, hooded by Dr. Richard Sigismund. Brian Hartnett, hooded by Dr. Timothy Hagen and Dr. James Horn. Karen Higgs, hooded by Dr. Joseph Magliano. Anna Huawu, hooded by Dr. Rebecca Hannigan. Sheldon Zhang, hooded by Dr. Virginia Wilcox Cox. Stephen Kafkis hooded by Dr. Jennifer Schmidt. Elizabeth Kershiznik, hooded by Dr. Haley Mayall.
Elena Casaona, hooded by Dr. Haley Mayall. Martha Madkins, hooded by Dr. Wei Chen Hung. <laughs> Melissa McKenzie, hooded by Dr. Alan Rosenbaum. Christina Picarillo, hooded by Dr. Michelle Damare. Adele Kwamash, hooded by Dr. Wei Ching Hong. Araya, sorry. Araya Ramson, hooded by Dr. Haley Mayall. Elizabeth Rex, hooded by Dr. Elizabeth Wilkins. Abdel Fatah Sabir, hooded by Dr. Wei Ching Hong. Eileen Seti, hooded by Dr. Alicia Shatterman. Brent Steffens, hooded by Dr. Keith Millis. Moji Solar Tarior, hooded by Dr. Virginia Wilcox Cock. Kristen Thompson, hooded by Dr. Elizabeth by Dr. Alan Rosenbaum. Andrew Wong, hooded by Dr. Harvey Blau. Michael Yetter, hooded by Dr. Mark Van Wiernen. The following students are candidates for the Doctor of Education. Darla Bennett Smilis, hooded by Dr. Elizabeth Wilkins. Mary Blumenberg Reeves, hooded by Dr. Jemina Bergen. Marianne Fonts, hooded by Dr. Mary Beth Henning. Brian M. Glick, hooded by Dr. Suzanne Degas White. Kelly Hamilton, hooded by Dr. Mary Beth Henning. Amy Howerton, hooded by Dr. Elizabeth Wilkins. Mary Jacobs, hooded by Dr. Jorge Herrera.
Amy Marks, hooded by Dr. Kelly Summers. Kristen Matson, hooded by Dr. Joseph Flynn. Amy Lynn Sipovic, hooded by Dr. Elizabeth Wilkins. Tonya Troka, hooded by Dr. Amy Rose. Stephanie Whalen, hooded by Dr. Joseph Flynn. Congratulations, doctoral degree recipients. <laughs> Will the candidates for the educational specialist and master's degrees, as well as performers' certificates, please rise. Stand up. <laughs> President Baker, upon the nomination of the graduate faculty, I recommend that you confer the educational specialist, the master's degree, and the performer's certificate upon the students who have met requirements to receive those degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Northern Illinois University, I hereby formally confer upon each of you, together with your fellows in absentia, the degree of certificate for which you have been recommended. Accordingly, you are vested with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining to that degree. Congratulations. Rajaswari Gundu. The following students are candidates for the Master of Arts. Malvina Bardoni. The following students are candidates for the Master of Accounting Science. Daniel Abroqua. Katie Ann Grossart. Antonio Manuel Alvarez. Janae Francis Kindy Allen. Sorry. Bianca Sibone Arceo. Allison Miranda Mercer Curtis. Jacob Ryan Arndt. Christopher John Lynn. Patrick Michael Berry. Crystal Marie Sturgeon. Shi Chung. Justin Thomas Yates. Michael Donaldson. The following students are candidates for the Master of Science. Sai Kirun Adapu. Daniel Joseph Gibbons. Uthkirsh Ahuja. Janine Elizabeth Harp. Khaled Abdullah Alorani. Eric Misael Huerta Chagoen. Mauricio Koss. Boa Lee. Lilin Du. John Andrew Mahalik. Christina Alvarez Moreno. 
Donna Nguyen. Gaurav Malik. Lucas Osmondson. Ankita Kaul. Seth Edwin Points. Samir Sharma. Kyla Francis Quedman. Raghvendra Shivare. Morgan Renee Quinn. Siddharth Pandey. Regis George Rajokis. Sumit Singh. Bryant Ruiz. Gerald Freeman Evans. Peter David Schneider. Askar Ali Salman. Katie Lynn Stickler. Sham Amanha Manchi. Anthony Joseph Vako. Faramishwaran Balasubramanian. The following students are candidates for the Master of Arts in Teaching. Brittany Lane Motts. Sarika Bandaru. Amy Nicole Walker. Rajun Bandi. Erin Victoria McDonald. Vidya Sagar Pansathpur. Amy Lynn Vade. Richard Charles Bayman. <laughs> the following students are candidates for the Master of Business Administration. Heidi Sarah Adams. Dinesh Kumar Bogriri. Shamrose Ali. Santosh Reddy Buddha. Lauren Louise Andreessen. Angela Marie Burke. James Neil Bailey. Aishwira Bushi. Steve Barney Walt. Chaitanya Krishna Chirmiredi. Madeline Betbadal. Nicasso Mauricio Gamble. Garnet Bremner. Preeti Chandraserkaran. Brittany Claire Buis. Divya Reddy Chandupalata. Michael Peter Centraco. Enrude Verma Chakuri. Robert John Kotner. Bhargava Chandru. Brian Daniel Cullum. Ramakirishna Dospadi. Liam Joseph Donnelly. Akash Varenda Dubey. Christopher Michael Emery. Sushma Dudam. John Ferguson. Hannah Elizabeth Dunlap. Allison May Fishman. Amanda Jean Early. Curtis Richard Fluke. Elijah William Iwasik. Carlos Garrido. Aaron Lauren Fanukin. Juana Jibilic. Heather Marie Friedline. Virginia Guzman. Aishwara Ganti. Patrick James Hanlon. Dylan James Gardiner. William Gerald Hanna. Abhinav Kumar Gatla. Deba Hassan. Durma Vuradura. Simon Kuku Hasulube. Stephanie Michelle Gael. Eric Douglas Hernandez. Balajivan Reddy Gopu. Brittany Michelle Hill. Lanair Greer. William Quasi Jackson. Nitin Vinad Guda. Jasmine Lee Jennison. Ahmed Mohammed Ahamzi. Tyler James Jones. Andrew Leonard Hatfield. 
Madhuri Kanduri. Sharunya Garamella. Zachary James Kendro. Srirarum Kumar Sunkara. Thomas Patrick Kentner. Smarika Mandala. Thomas Colet. Surendra Pilla. Jose Kolonjeri. Sri Sai Venkata Sandush Aja Gula. Josephine Ann Kramer. Vanitija Nunra. Sabrina Ashley Kaikendal. Ruvi Shankur Gapal. Danielle Simone Malizio. Naga Segundra Atmabuthula. Marcel Manzano. Thej Eswuraka. Danielle Metcalf. Seketh Kusadlala. Aaron David Moy. Casey Suzanne Hayer. Angelica Casey Palumbo. Emmanuel John Hibbler. Gino K. Patel. Brittany Corinne Hyde. Christopher Ryan Roki. Shivkumar Ayer. Caitlin Marie Saltzman. Kyle David Jackson. Matthew T. Shuck. Nalini Jadia. Ahmed Shaikh. Adarsh Jayakumar. Nicole Catherine Stanko. Matthew Jensky. Catherine Joan Stettenfeld. Sacha Deruja Kaja. James Michael Temple. Ingrid Christina Kennedy. Palnimutu Talamutu. Sahicha Reddy Kasarla. Eric Tien. Prodvi Kavuri. Kavuri. Javed Virani. Madhu Sudan Kata. Michael Wallace Wadland. Trivikam Kavuru. Walter Dwayne Weathers. Aisha Kazmi. Ryan Garrett Wold. Mohammed Adnan Yar Khan. Deborah Ann Woods. Heather Ann Killini. Natalia Yance. Ayana Denise Kimbro. Nainunu Yi. Brian Timothy Kirk. Benjamin Richard Zeitz. Aditya Kodali. The following students are candidates for the Master of Fine Arts. Chin Bin Fu. Kayithi Koturu. The following students are candidates for the Master of Public Administration. Alan Avitia. Satish Kumar Kovuru. Gina Claire Ballard. Venkata Maradra Kundavaram. Ryan James Kohler. Aule Lee. Sean Joseph Collins. Saukya Lokula. Robert William Herman. Bo Lu. Samuel Vincent Hughes. Nicholas Anthony Madonia. Angela Jaria Isom. Naveen Mandudari. Ali Moyodin. Kruthru Mangapuli. Melissa Michelle Perez. Casey Marie Manson. 
Travis John Raypole, Anthony William Motaz, Kimberly Ann Schmidt, Ranjit Kumar Reddy Mulagani, Anna Grace Tool, Kaniki Rabbi Mutiba, Donald Albert Weiss, Anvesh Mudavarapu. The following students are candidates for the Master of Public Health. Rhea Sharon Castro. Lindsay Anna Nicolason. Kelsey Renee Canudi. Kristen Joanne Olachewski. Ashley Lauren Roof. Vinay Srichand Punjabi. Ashley Nicole Wright. Depesh Huchandra Patil. <laughs> the following students are candidates for the Master of Science in Education. Kevin John Allison. Susmitha Muva. Melissa Amison. Sneha Nagavali. Courtney Marie Aqualino. Sai Snetheth Koduru. Brittany Michelle Baer. Gauthum Varma Nanagiri. Melody Barnes. Lakarun Raj Patala. Marcy Eels Beletsky. Yasar Haviz Mohammed. Rebecca Joy Bond. Sri Kre Pavala. Christina M. Burroughs. Chetanya Kakani. Megan Ashley Bird. Jayanth Kali. Megan Elizabeth Cannon. Deva Harsha Perugupali. Susan Marie Carlson. Shuvanti Parudan Parabana. Matthew Thomas Carroll. Kevin Peters. Melissa Vallejo Saikish. Nicholas John Pettit. Rakesha LaJoy Crawford. Ashley M. Enoch. Anna Elizabeth Davis. Rachel Ann McBride. Nicholas Joe DeFrank. Nicolina Berkovich. Jacqueline Jasmine Diaz. Michael Max Quaintance. Megan Ann Dillon. Sarah Marie Drufke. Kylie Doherty. Amanda Nicole Schlink. Allison Ray Free. Emily Key. Lindsay Nicole O'Keefe. Laura Lawler. Mary Margaret Elliott. Bargova Sunkur. Carlene Ernit. Sarika Nahbana Lagala. Grace Espinoza. Dugar Samuel Para. Kaniz Fatima. Chalisa Parusavan. Sonia Michelle Fitzpatrick. Krushank Hazit Patel. Sheetal Kumar. Jora Tamjid. Ashra Funesa Flora. Daniela DeMello. Michael Martin Gannon. Ngozi Stella Ngozi. Todd Michael Halloran. Forlarki Olatio Ojo. Margaret Marie Hammer. Sheikh Khalid. Natalie Bridget Harvey. Salman Sharif. 
Noel Ann Orbachowski, Ibrahim Saeed, Kaylee Michelle Irving, Saeed Zakre, Alvina Renee Ivy, Rizwan Ulhaq Muhammad, Labia Leslie Jackson, Shujudun Majir Mohammed, Lisette Jacobson, Karthik Pitaparthi, Jeanette George, Venkara Vikash Reddy Netapali, Kelly Michelle Kirshner, Kirthi Pindi, Donna Marie Larson, Parashana Prabhanik, Sean Christopher Potts, Benjamin Douglas Pritchard, Christopher Matthew Laskowitz, Navya Raliela, Kendall Lawson, Alyssa N. Roberts, Oliva Lebensorger, Michael David Rothenbuehler, Joseph Lee, Katie Ann Rutledge, Marie Louise Legensky, Sai Chenna Kasaba Saja, Allison Marie Mass, Barharth Kumar Bathula, Sarah Caitlin Matuzik, Metasweeney Reddy Samala, Deanda Shanessa McNeil, Deep Two Redapagazi, Nino Mebuke, Timothy James Schwartz, Catherine Elizabeth Maijal, Adele Ibrahim Kamash, Sandra Milena Vega Montoya, Kalila Said, Christy Elise Fraticola, Anurag Singh, Courtney Elizabeth Grote, Casey Lee Slavens, Brian James Highland, Amanda Kathleen Smith, Brittany Catherine Leon, Abigail Louisa Stalkup, Casey Rose Nolan, Jennifer Statkiss, Jessica Ann Ventrella, Valerie Leah Strike, Scott Thomas Shippert, Thamari Raja Kassan Sabrumanian, Laura Van Dame, Michael Christopher Taylor, Kelsey Ann Ward, Alexander Nikolov Topolov, Victoria Marie Taylor, Isaac S. Taylor, Andre Noel Joachim, Jeremy Ryan Troxell, the Theodore Pereskivov, Melissa Ann Verdekia, Sabrina Marie Peters, Hamanchu Verma, Kelly Marine Peterson, Joseph William Verthaler III, Sadia Kamar, Christine Wanyana. Patricia Ramirez, Semil Patel, Priscilla Ann Rodriguez, Ashok Singamaneni, Jonathan Edward Ruth, Shiva Rotakanda, Michael Anthony Salerno, Ronald Wheeler, Cassandra Gloria Scardino, Sai Teja Sandela, Megan Elise Schleiss, Praveen Unkor Vaturapu, 
Adam Joseph Sawicki. Harish Kumar Yada. Hannah Joy Hagen Sutter. Varun Kumar Paraviparu. Lindsay Caroline Shifchek. Veng Tishwarn Sekar. Matthew Troy Thompson. Kamran Yar Khan Sadukwi. Brian Harvey Wirtz. Yaguang Zhong. Kara Wojciechowski. Alakenya Tadekanda. Justina Sylvia Wojanowska. Akash Ranguju. Christine Marie Anderson. Sanjay Ramadugu. Rhonda Ray Andrews. Rohit Burapurtu Karshmanari. Katie Shannon Baker. Divya Malika Vandana. Maurice John McDavid. Rakuvar Vodarivu. Paulette Marie Ali. Anil Kumar Tukapur. Leslie Corinne Pascola. Diruj Samji. Tiffany Sue Rauman. Ravi Vinay Saliki. Jennifer Marie Schmidt. Zilong Wang. The following students are candidates for the Master of Science in Taxation. Sharjil Arshed. Shijing Zheng. Krista Marie Clayton. Randy J. Ellis. Master Luke Johnson. Let us acknowledge the accomplishments of these distinguished graduates with a hearty round of applause. Yes, indeed. To all of our graduates and to the families and friends who've supported them, I want to add just a quick personal note of congratulations. You may have come to graduate school because of a passion for your field of study or to realize a raise in pay or promotion or a career change. But regardless, the graduate education that provided you with the opportunity for personal growth is also a decidedly public good. More than most, individuals with advanced degrees contribute to the economic and civic development of our communities, and yours is now a grave responsibility. Through your graduate education at NIU, you have certainly enhanced your own credentials, but you've also become a difference maker. Graduates, I thank you for accepting the challenge to change the world. We look forward to great things from you all. Thank you. Please turn to the last page of your program and join Deanna Francis as we sing the alma mater. Following the alma mater, I ask that guests remain in their seats for the recessional of the platform party, faculty, and graduates. As you are able, please rise. <laughs> 